Taking videos is now a snap, and you don't have to pull out your smartphone. The $130 spectacles are sunglasses that record 10 second videos for Snapchat. <laughs> but snapping up a pair has been tricky with release limited to special vending machines and pop-up stores. If your New Year's resolution is to get into shape, the $150 Fitbit Charge 2 tracks heart rate, sleep and steps with an easy to read screen. And it's got a really good community to tap into with Fitbit and it works with Android and iOS. The only thing it doesn't have is water resistance. Fashion watchmakers like Michael Kors and Fossil have hybrid smartwatches. Think of them as fitness trackers on an everyday watch. So a lot of them work similarly in that they pair with an app and then sync the data. Garmin's Vivo Move also looks like a traditional watch and has the advantage of a good app. For kids, the $80 Vivo Fit Junior not only tracks steps but lets parents assign chores and reward kids with virtual coins. For more hardcore athletes, the $369 Apple Watch Series 2 is water resistant for swimming. It also has GPS, so you can run and track your activity when your phone's not around. For $100 less, the Apple Watch Series 1 has similar features without GPS and water resistance. Android users can check out the swim-friendly Samsung Gear S3 with GPS starting at $299. But they also have uh, built-in LTE capabilities so you can make phone calls. Before you invest, here are a few things to consider. Do you want it to feel like a mini phone on your wrist? Or do you just want to check a few things like quick texts or even just track fitness and not worry so much about the rest? For more tech gift ideas, check out CNET.com. In San Francisco, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News.